Everybody keeps asking me why. Oh, I guess I'll talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. That right there, that's my 2014 Mustang GT. And I do like to take this thing out and have some fun. I'll go out to the track, I'll do some autocross, occasionally even take it to the drag strip and see how I do out there. But this car is getting a little bit older and I decided that I wanted to get something a little newer. So being that I have a Mustang, so the obvious choice, if I have an older Mustang, I'm gonna go out and buy a Camaro. And that's what I did. This is my 2018 Camaro SS1 LE. And since I bought this thing, everybody keeps asking me, hey Mark, why didn't you buy yourself a newer Mustang? And today I'm gonna to talk to you about that. All right, so first let's talk about why I wanted to get a newer car. This is a 2014, which is the last year that they made on the S197 platform. Being it's the last year means it's kind of old technology. This thing came out in 2005 and basically it hasn't really changed that much other than the introduction of the Coyote engine. It's a great engine. It makes a lot more power than the old 4.6 and that's about the only thing they really change with these other than maybe the facelift on there now being that this is a 2014 mustang this is older it's got the older suspension on it it's got a solid rear axle in here they didn't put independent rear suspension in it until the new 2015 mustangs honestly it doesn't handle that great it handles okay i've done a lot to it i have coilovers i got sway bars i got bigger wheels and tires and i do all right but i'm just not keeping up with all of these newer cars the newer cars have better technology, they have more power, they handle better, and I'm a bit competitive, so I figured I needed to get something a little bit newer to keep up with these guys. Now, the only similarities between the Camaro and the Mustang is that it's a V8-powered manual transmission, rear-wheel drive car, and that's about it. They do everything else differently between the two, even though in the end, they're usually pretty close of how they perform. Now, let's start with the design of the engine. This is one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Camaro over the Mustang. The Mustang, the way they designed it, it is a dual overhead cam V8. It's only five liters, but the way they designed it to make more power was this is a higher revving engine. Um, there's a lot of people who rev these up to like eight or 9,000 RPMs, and that's how these ones make their power. Where in the LT1 and the Camaro, they're more of a bigger pushrod V8, and the way they designed it was so that you could make more power down low. So having that torque way down low was actually something I was looking for. It's more of what I need for when I go out to do stuff like autocross. I'm not always at the red line, so I needed more power down low. But the first gen Coyote, what I have, is different than the third gen that we have out now. It's supposed to be a lot more closer to the LT1 I have here which the LT1 makes power absolutely everywhere more over a Gen 1 Coyote. I haven't got the chance yet to drive a Mustang with the Gen 3 Coyote, and I hope to do that one day, at least so that way I can compare between the two actually and see if I really picked the right car. Another reason is we already have a newer Mustang in the family, so that's my girlfriend's car right there. She already has a bluer S550, so I decided to get the Camaro for that reason. If we take a look at the interiors in here, I find that both interiors are pretty good. They're not amazing, but I do like them. Um, the one thing I will say is they both have problems, like if we take a look here, I don't know if we can see it here, I might have to get some light, but the there's like a, a plastic glued down to the top of the steering wheel, and it's starting to come up, and then as we look in the Mustang, we can see that we have some of the same problems. The materials aren't absolutely amazing, like if we look down here, we can see the switches are starting to come apart, or at least the chrome part on them, they're starting to bubble, they're starting to come off. Same with like here on the steering wheel, you can see that it's starting to come off there. And I think that both the Mustang and the Camaro do need a little bit of upgrading on that. But I do like the way that the Mustang looks. I think the Mustang has a better looking interior, honestly. I don't know. I just, it feels nicer. The Camaro's still pretty good, but I think I like the Mustang better for the interior. All right, so let's talk about the real reason why I decided to get a Camaro over a newer Mustang. And honestly, it just comes down to the fact that I like to change my cars up. I like to try out different brands. That's why I started with, I had the Subaru, I had the BMW, I got the Mustang, and now I got a Camaro. You know, I can try out different brands, see what I like, see what I don't like between them all. Honestly, if I don't like the Camaro, I'll get rid of it. I'll get something else. Maybe I'll go way out there and get a 911 or something. 
But, you know, one day down the road, I'm probably gonna sell the car anyway. It happens, things get old, time for new stuff, technology gets better, and I'm just gonna go with the time, see what's faster. All right, so let's talk about the way they look. Like, look at the Camaro, it's very aggressive. I like the way it looks, but I also like the way the new Mustangs look. And honestly, I feel like with either one, I would have been really happy. They're both good looking cars. I may even say I kind of like the way the Mustang looks better, but I did want to try a Camaro out, so this is why I got this one, and I am really happy with the way it looks. I love the blue with all the black accents, like the hood, that makes it stand out, and the black mirrors and the black wheels. You know, this is a good looking car to me, and I am really glad that I got it. Now, if you guys do like this kind of content and you want to see more on the Mustang and the Camaro, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next video.